Hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, I found another free circuit simulator, and I thought we'd take just a couple minutes this morning and take a look at it. So this is dcaclab.com. You can go directly there, and you can come in, and uh, you will get this basic, well, you won't get my circuit, but you'll get this screen here. And we can go through all of that kind of stuff. So if we look at the circuit that I have here, we have a six volt battery that is feeding a switch and is also feeding the drain of this end channel MOSFET. The gate of the MOSFET goes to the switch and the other side of the switch basically just goes to ground. So when I flip the switch, the LED lights up. Very simple. What's nice about this is it shows you the current all along here. You can see coming out of the battery, putting out 2.08 milliamps, 2.08 milliamps all over the place. And then we switch it off. You can see it's still growing current because of the MOSFET here, but now we're down to 51.37 nanoamps, which is considerably less. So let's take a look at some of the components they have available and, uh, you know, just play around a little bit for fun. Okay, so we can start out with, we have a watt meter, which will even show you phase angle, very cool. We have a multimeter, which will show you uh, DC voltage, AC voltage, resistance and current. We have an oscilloscope. Very, very cool. Come play with that, don't worry. Text, uh, analysis loops. We have our battery, which is very cool. And one of the things you can do here is you can come and click on this. You can set your voltage up to 12 volts. You can also flip it around or rotate it, and you'll have this little menu with all of the different components that are available. All right, let's get rid of that. We have, oh, okay. We have some waveforms, so if we wanted a sine wave, well, that's interesting. We can just put a sine wave there at 1.5 volts. Can we adjust it? Yes. Like so we wanted five volts peak to peak, say a frequency of two kilohertz. Oh, very cool. So that is very nice. Yeah, you're you're learning about this with me. I just came across this this morning, and I thought I got to show everybody this. All right, we also have a current source, which is adjustable, of course. Very cool. Resistors. And you're going to need to know your resistor codes. Let's say you wanted a uh, 200 ohm resistor. Well, you're going to have to come over here and you're going to have to tell it red. Red. Times one. Oops, wrong one. That was times two, wasn't it? So there we go. Times one. It's actually a 220 ohm resistor, but you get the idea. Input method by color code, or you could just say by text. And just come in here and say 1.5. Okay, will that work? 1.5 times 1, 1.5K. There you go, now we have a 1.5K resistor. How can we find that out? Well, we could get our multimeter here. Drag some wires. And put this thing into uh, resistance mode. Great. Now I'm not seeing anything at all. Oh, there we go. There we go. So very cool. Now, another nice thing you can do, and you saw that in my original circuit example, is you can click on this like play button here and you can change the colors of your wire. So it makes it just like you're working on a breadboard at home. 
very cool we also have an ldr light dependent resistor and of course we'll be able to change the uh the resistance to that we have a push button we have a switch and we have um single pole and double throw we have potentiometer which can be adjusted ah cool we have a little fan we have a bell a relay i mean you've got everything you could want here to play around uh, if we come over here diodes we have zener and uh, silicone diodes oh voltage ground transformer we have bjt's here mosfets uh, inductors capacitors we have logic circuits or log logic ic's and we have uh op amps this is all really cool let me see if i can put something interesting together i'll be right back okay here's a uh, really simple little circuit that i put together we have a nine volt battery and it feeds two push buttons the top push button feeds a fan the bottom push button feeds a bell so if we press the top button look at that it even uses a conventional electron throw flow back in there I think I burnt my fan out let's put in a new one see if it works this would be hilarious if it does it does And you can see it's getting nine amps over here, which is probably a bit much for this fan. So let's uh, let's add in a resistor. Put our resistor right there like so. Then we'll chuck a wire on like this and make sure it is gray for our ground wire. Now let's see what happens. Well, we cut it in half. Let's see our fan. This is one, two, many, one, two. Yeah, okay. So that is cool as can be. Yeah, burn it out again. Well, you know about that. That is ridiculously funny. What if I put a light bulb in instead? There you go, 4.5 volt, 4.5 amp light bulb, and I burned it out too. Hilarious. All right, let's see what I can do with the uh, oscilloscope. Okay. So what I did is I took a sine wave source here, the 1.5 volt peak-to-peak -peak sine wave, and I attached one channel of this three-channel oscilloscope. It's a three-channel oscilloscope. How cool is that? To it, and look at that. Let's bring in another source. Let's go this time with a triangle wave. We'll stick it up here and we'll put channel two on the triangle wave and we will adjust its volts per division look at that That's pretty cool. Auto snap to peak. What does that do? I love this thing. Anyway, dcaclab.com. I will put a link down below. I encourage you to take a look at it. It's free. It costs you nothing. I'm not making nothing off this. I just thought it was really cool. And, uh, you know, I'm all about electronics education. This got electronics education written all over it. I mean, they even have tutorials that you can go through and read all this. How to use an oscilloscope, half-wave rectifier. Oh, this is incredible. I'm going to come back and play with this some more. But I had to share it with you guys, so I hope you like it.
All right, if you do, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.